Hello everyone, welcome back to JLake 3D. So it has been a minute, but uh, Merry Christmas to you all, first of all. And second of all, I saw a good question on Facebook and I have a few minutes today and I just wanted to answer that. And let's go ahead and click on top view there to work on that plane and sketch a circle. So the question was, how do I make a grid pattern uh, to be able to make like a mesh? And let's go ahead and make that eight inches. That'll fit on most uh, modern printers. So we can print this and uh, I'm going to show you um, two methods, let's just say. And keep in mind, we did uh, kind of choose our dimension so that locks it into place as well as over here. So we can just go ahead and draw a line. And I, I like to make a bigger line just so I can have more space to work with. And then I'm not constrained if, if things get too close to each other. So we go ahead and tangent that. And we do the same thing on this side. So let's make it about 10 just so it fits everywhere and then tangent that as well. All right, and then we go to transform and pattern. Make sure you are on linear, not circular. And then we want a total distance, not spacing. And we do eight inches and let's try 20. That's good. All right, and then if you haven't seen my pattern tutorial, really go check that out. That'll help you understand what we're doing here because I'm just kind of swiftly going through it now. But let's go ahead and make that pattern again for the bottom sketch. And we're going to do eight inches again, and then 20 across. So most people would stop here and then like, like they want to make a grid here. They'll just go ahead and select either of these squares. And you'll have to select a lot of squares if you want to do that. And either make their shape or their cutout a template. But what I would tell you is save yourself some stress. And let's say we have here at the bottom a square, we pull that out, let's make it like two inches, for example. Save yourself a lot of stress and just select this one and make it a pattern. So transform pattern, select this one. Let's go ahead and make sure we're on linear again. Let's move it across and now instead of total distance, we wanna do spacing. So what we're gonna do is turn on spacing distance and uh, I didn't get the dimension of each square so we can actually check that. So 0.4211 is, is the square this specific size so what we can do is we can either shrink this up front or do spacing so I'll show you both ways let's go ahead first of all and shrink that on all sides we can also use the scale tool but this makes it kind of easier we can go in and do like a point let's do a point one shrinkage on all sides that way it fits into our square so when we 3d print this for example our manufacturer we have spacing distance so what we can do now is go to the pattern here in the menu, make sure it's linear again, and go across. And we can either do total distance. Now, since we've shrunk it, we could do eight inches across. Make sure we have, um, let's do 10, that's half of 20. That way we have it spaced out. But it's not super accurate, because remember it does add one here. I always forget about the extra one. So let's say, if we have a total distance of eight inches, that adds actually that 0.4211. So minus 0.4211 equals 7.59. Now we have the exact distance spacing. So make sure you do your math correctly on these. But once we have this, we could also go to the side on this. So let's do eight inches minus 0.4211 to get our 7.5789. So I'm glad they put that calculator in there finally. Uh, let's do, uh, we needed 10. So now we have this mesh. And then if you had the same exact square as this dimension, you need to 3D print it with actual spacing inside, you would be able to go to spacing distance and choose that as necessary. So that's the space between each piece instead of the total distance edge to edge, right? And then when you're doing total distance, keep in mind it does add that one extra one there. So once we have this, we can now go in, select our linear pattern. And if we want more, we just simply copy and move it over. For example, we needed that much more, right? So we could do 0.4211, 0.4211. That'll give us an exact spacing there. So we have now double the amount. And the way to get our actual grid now is if we um, select our line and we isolate it, Let's, um, let's go ahead and actually copy that over. So exit sketch mode, click copy, 
and then just go up let's say by one inch because I don't want that grid that's gonna be a lot of clicking now we can just select this and we can select let's say our filter would be like two two inches let's make it negative so it goes down sometimes it switches when you mess around a bit but um, let's go ahead now and isolate that and select our let's see extrusion so we can go in the history and remember that time we extruded that one single one that's two inches now let's make it 10 and that'll adjust all of them for us and that way we can now move these up not the sketches so let's move these up here and then we want to do tools subtract from our there's a lot of things to click here okay so let's just use the menu so from our body we want to subtract the linear pattern and probably before we get to this point what I want to do is to make it more realistic is isolate that and shell it so tools shell because later on this would be really difficult so we want this let's say two millimeters let's switch to millimeters we want it to be two millimeters thick click done just as an example then we unisolate and then we do tools subtract and let's use our menu here click our body and then subtract from our body the linear pattern all right and then keep originals we have to adjust these every time now since they've modified that make sure you have removed bodies if you want to keep your pieces and click done now we hide our pattern so we don't see it and we have this grid obviously you have to fix those edges or not erase them at all uh, the easiest way would be obviously to make a new sketch so for example if we uh, hide our new body and we have our other sketch there so let's say we make it two inches again And then this time we go tools, shell, the bottom, if we can select it. And the top is sketch, so we can't really do that. Let's just go with two millimeters again. And then we want to isolate that again. And just select through, make this zero. And then unhide our first body, and this way we can tools union so this kind of just sort of speeds up the process unless you plan ahead now we have a pattern so this this pattern could be any pattern you want i just showed it to you this way so you can kind of have a multifaceted approach to how you do this thing so you can either do just the lines or you can do squares you can do circles you can do any pattern because the point is you extrude that one pattern and you repeat it all the way across so this is one way to do that i hope this helps you guys merry christmas um, happy learning and i hope you guys have a great new year as well all right, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.